Tanya, day one of the online Olympiad and you scored one and a half out of two. But the day was filled with a lot of ups and downs. Uh, how is your overall feeling? Overall feeling, I think uh, it was a very reasonable start for our team. And uh, we, you know, first days are always a little getting into the rhythm, getting the momentum going. It's always a little jittery. And I think uh, we all felt our nerves at some point, but overall uh, happy with the way things went. There's, of course, two big days coming up. As far as my games were concerned, yeah. that was completely crazy. I think the first game... Uh, so you played against uh, Egypt? Yes. And you were playing against Wafa Shrook, right? Shahinda. Shahinda. Both, yeah. uh, so Shahinda and uh, the, the opening was very normal. You got a very <laughs> <laughs> nice edge. Then you suddenly took knight takes at 7. Did you miss bishop e4? Of course I missed it. I would never take knight eight seven. No, because you won very quickly after that. Yeah, that, that, was a, that happened. In fact, later when I was talking to Adi, he was like, just tell everyone that was a sacrifice. <laughs> uh, and uh, when I took knight eight seven, I actually thought that I was only looking at taking the rook and then knight f8 and my knight comes back. And immediately when I played knight eight seven, I realized, Oh my god, Bishop E4. <laughs> Ooh, that was just a blank moment. Yeah, that You know, I think it was just that my knight on G5 was covering E4. And there was this thing that I wanted to not... I don't know what happened. It was a complete miss. And at because that Bishop moment, F1, Knight F8 should be fine for you. I think White is just winning actually. Bishop H3, Knight G6. So I thought that she missed it. Mm. And I took Knight H7 and then Bishop E4. And it was just... <laughs> cold shower yeah that time it was just the worst thing ever but then i knew in a team it's very different right in an individual tournament compared to a team because even if you make a mistake you want to keep going you don't want to resign because then it adds pressure on the team so as long as you can keep fighting uh, because otherwise the team would know that one board is down hmm. so with just that in mind i was like okay you know what let's just continue playing i'm pretty sure if it was an individual classical event there is no way i would have continued that position <laughs> And then um, there's one or two tricks still. She has to find a way back for her bishop. I think she had to take on d5. And go and c6. f3 she had to play d4. d4. And this is what I missed as well. Later on while we were having dinner, uh, I was told that this was the way to go. But it's not so easy. Yeah, like not, you have to find it's this. It's not trivial, correct. So even I didn't see this. Like I thought e takes d5, f3 and I win the piece back. So I still thought there was some pressure. Uh, but yeah, when she played f4 and I got those central pawns, I really thought that now it's very unclear. Yeah, I mean, and, ideally, I would want a piece on the board, but... And then you had these central pawns. Your rook came from f2 to g2 with the bishop on c3. There was a lot of pressure, actually. Yeah, it's not easy, I think. And especially because the pawns on d5, b4, f5, they sort of really cramped the position. I've got a dark squared bishop. So, definitely, there's real compensation, I think, there. I don't know if it's enough or not, but it felt like, uh, like there's life. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, after you won that game, I think it was an important one. You did not play in the next game against France. Yeah. Uh, and then you played against Sweden. Yeah. And your opponent was Ina Agrest. Uh, and in the opening, she played a move which is not very common, like d4 is the main line, I believe. And then she played d3. Did mm. that confuse you? or? It didn't confuse me, but uh, I think where I went wrong was when I played d4, actually. But after queen mm. e2, I played d4. I think I have to keep the center a little more flexible, play rook e8. Uh, I think... Uh, it was sort of difficult to prepare because games were one after the other and it's quite, uh, uh, it's, you know, it's also not easy to see everything your opponent plays. She also plays really fast. She's an experienced player, she played really fast. In fact, it was not only I had a difficult position, but in that game I was also low on the clock. Mm -hmm. But then somehow in the middle game... She played very well actually. She, she took on d4, bishop she played b3. I thought was so, yeah, b4, bishop d2 and then bishop d3 stopping bishop yeah. b6. So she, uh, uh, like I felt it had gone bad, but then of course just kept playing. Keep fighting. Yeah. That was your mantra, <laughs> yeah, like don't give up. You know, it's funny with Egypt, this has happened in the Olympiad with me as well. And I think that was the first round in the Bartimi Olympiad where I was playing. We, I think it was Egypt if I'm not wrong. And again, I was like busted in that game where you just keep playing and then somehow things work out. Yeah. But today it was very up and down. And overall, uh, how, how is the atmosphere in the team? Because we drew against France, which is, uh, well, it's not a bad result as such, yeah. but it was slightly unexpected. So is the team upbeat? How is everyone? Because you all had dinner together. 
It's a sport, right? Anything can happen. I think everyone is giving their best on the board, and we've got two big days coming up. And of course, uh, we are thinking about that, and everyone's uh, spirits are high. And uh, uh, I really don't think anything has gone wrong today at all. Uh, we won two games. We drew one game. So uh, yeah, I've definitely everyone's feeling positive. Yeah, I was preparing for this interview, and I just looked at all your games. But then I saw that. Uh, there was also a short video on Vidit's channel. Uh, he's uploaded it already. <laughs> he's yeah. already uploaded it. Oh my god! Well, yeah. What's the story Sounds with that? Great. I mean, for people who know this thing, they just get it. They the find it. The story is that Vidit's real name is Kerosene Gujarati. That's the story. <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, but you acted very well. Thank you. <laughs> well, Tanya, good luck for Thank the you. day two and day three as well. Thank you so much for Thanks, your time. Sagar.